I'm going to share with you the wonderful world of horsetail. This is a herb that proliferates throughout the entire planet and has been around for over 400 million years. There are over 20 different species of horsetail and they have been used by humans for thousands of years dating back to the time of the ancient Romans. Horsetail right here, this is a, actually a grass that over 400 million years ago grew to be upwards the size of a modern tree. Now it's only able to grow as high as one meter, yet its roots penetrate a meter to a meter and a half deep. Because of its deep root mass, horsetail is able to draw up a wide variety of minerals necessary for rejuvenating landscapes and allowing for more biodiversity. It grows in a wide variety of places including marshes all the way to gravel subsoil at the side of a railroad track. Horsetail is perfect because it's able to provide this benefit of accumulating nutrients for your garden so you don't necessarily have to weed it out all the time and it's medicinal herb that can be used for a wide variety of purposes. It can be used in decoctions where you boil it down or in infusions where you leave it in hot water for 15 to 20 minutes. Horsetail can even be used in stir fries. You want to harvest it in the summer. Early summer is best. And because of that it's going to be useful for many reasons, right? Silica is its primary mineral. Silica is excellent for your skin, your hair, your nails. Silica is a necessary component of collagen. And because of this it can be used topically as a vulnerary herb. So you mush it up in a paste, apply it to the skin, and it can be used as a poultice to help speed up the healing process of any wounds. It's seen to be particularly beneficial for rheumatism. And in this context, you would boil it down about three and a half ounces in one liter of water for about one hour. So you're creating a potent combo here of horsetail and then you can add that to your bath and sit, sit in it, soak up the mineral silica. It's powerful as an astringent so it's very very bitter. It, it allows muscles to contract in the body so proteins to contract and this is particularly beneficial for the urinary tract and it's useful in working with a variety of conditions from bedwetting in children to uh, incontinence in the elderly. In the case of bedwetting it also acts as a diuretic so you don't want to take it within two hours before bed so it can have the opposite effect in children which isn't ideal of course. But for those who do have a propensity to urinary tract infections it can be used medicinally in prevention because it's helping as a diuretic to cleanse excess water from the body. It is a powerful anti-inflammatory and it has a direct affinity to the prostate. It's a very masculine plant and because of that is in my opinion beneficial for men. Thank you.